I mean, we are going to scarify quite deep this year because I feel we've got um, a little bit of a fibre issue here. So we're going to quite, go quite deep, top, top dress quite heavily. Um, after that's completed and the seed's coming through, it, the most important is, I think, the first cut. Um, just make sure your blades on your mower are nice and sharp and cutting paper, very thin paper. Otherwise, if you don't get that cut properly, you'll get disease in the square quite easily because it's, um, it's damaging the, uh, the cells of the grass. Um, so that's, that's quite important. Obviously, it's checking the right moisture because if it's a little bit damp with new top dressing, you'll pick it up on the mower. Sometimes it's unavoidable, you just have to bite the bullet and do it. But that is very important, the first cut. And we're cutting in the winter to probably about 16 or 17 mil, and we keep that regularly cut. And we're, we're cutting really once a week. When, we've done, when we feel there's enough moisture contents in the square, we're, um, we get a vertidrainer in. Everyone's different what they do. Some do it once, just one big deep one. I tend to do it twice because what I do is um, we go to about six inches the first pass and then try and get some more moisture in to the square. Then in about sort of the beginning of December, we will go down to about 10 inches and uh, that does help the root growth, which I think is very important. Everyone differs on that, but I think that's important because I feel with the roots, it helps the wickets dry out more evenly because it's taking the moisture out through the leaf of the grass roll, rather than actually rolling the hell out of a wicket and killing it. So I think it helps cook a wicket better and um, I think that's very important. On the, um, on the square they're very, we call them pencil tines and because uh, we don't want to open the we don't want to open it up too much because there's fear that it won't close um, it won't close up for the uh, summer months um, and and we, we wouldn't do any more aeration after december it just for the fact that we're worried about them closing up on the outfield we use um, bullet tines because they're quite big and we want to open the outfield up more it doesn't matter we've um, we'll be treating it with wetting agents and we're top dressing so we, and they do close up very quickly because of the sandy contents of the soil on the outfield. So we try and open the outfield as, up as much as we can and treat with wetting agents, which helps as well. Obviously, keep an eye on disease in the square. If you see any disease coming, there's very, very good fungicides out there. I'm not going to mention any companies because they all do good fungicides. Um, obviously, in the winter months, you want to contact. Um, because the temperatures won't, uh, won't sort of um, any good for systemics that time of year so it's usually a contact we use um, and just keep an eye on it.